This is Mark Belvin, Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. And here today, I'm gonna to show you the blood and guts Dorian Yates row that he does with an underhand grip. Enjoy the video and let me know what else you'd like to see from me. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. See you in a minute. Whoosh. So I'm doing some old school blood and guts Dorian Yates style rows here. Those of you that aren't aware of who Dorian Yates is, watch his special on Netflix. Check it out, they did a documentary on him. Amazing guy, amazing athlete, an unbelievable uh, Mr. Olympia champion. Dorian Yates tore his biceps, or a, a bicep. It was a pretty big deal at the time. It was right in the middle of his career. And at the time he was filling out his back. He was making his back big. And he was known for his back. That's how he won so many titles. And he had a hard time continuing to grow his back because he really high, uh, relied heavily on rows. One of his favorite movements was like a bent over row. He could no longer do it this way, pronated. He had to switch to doing it supinated, hands underneath. And so that's what I'm gonna be working on today. In the beginning of the exercise, I'm gonna get a lot of movement. I'm gonna move around a lot just to kind of stretch and just to kind of get ready. So I just have the bar here. But in typical blood and guts fashion, I'm just gonna do one set all in. So I'm gonna kind of warm up, get a little progression going. And uh, I'm, not a, I'm not strong at rows. Um, I'm not gonna make a lot of excuses, but I, you know, I, I can't lift a lot of weight when it comes to rowing. Even at my strongest, I wasn't a good rower. I think if I can get about two plates on here for a set of like 10 or something like that, that'll probably be, that'll probably be a good set. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna gauge it though, because really, when I have done Mike Menser's routine, that's where this routine comes from, heavy duty, Mike Menser. Look some of this stuff up, guys. This is fantastic information for some of you uh, newbies out there, some of you people that may, might be intermediate lifter, maybe haven't been lifting for a very long time. Look up some of this stuff, fantastic information. Dorian Yates has a book called Blood and Guts that's old that you can get, but look up some of Mike Menser stuff. I think to this day, Mike Menser might be the only guy can't remember the competition, maybe it was the USA's or something like that, but he had a perfect score, and that's really rare. This guy just had an amazing physique. It was a good combination of, of uh, being lean and being thick. He looked extremely powerful. You don't really see that style of build anymore. But here's what we're doing. As always, we want to try to keep the back flat. I'm gonna go with my index here. And we want to try to organize our spine. How do we organize our spine? Well, we make sure we're not like this. And we make sure we're not overextended this way. I'm just going to kind of get my back nice and neutral and stand tall. Here's how we do this Yates row. We're going to come down here. The weight is light. So I'm not too concerned if the lower back rounds over a little bit because this is a warm up. I'm trying to get those weights as low as I can get them. With the arm, with the hand being underneath, we're trying to work kind of the lower lat, kind of down in here. That's actually an area that's not very good on me. It's not very big. My lats are okay up here, right underneath the armpit. But as we get down towards like uh, the back fat, lower uh, love handle area, my lat doesn't go all the way down there, which everyone's lat connects all the way in down by their hips. I'm not sure if you knew that, but it runs all the way down into here. All the way down into here and with this underhand grip and a, and a high a high uh, body posture kind of up in here I'm gonna be able to hit that lower lat it's all the same muscle basically anyway here we go we get a plate on there if I'm strong enough to get the plate so here we go bent over row I'm gonna probably do I keep I'm gonna keep with the same uh, rep scheme for the entire time, or at least try to. I'm gonna to try to go about eight reps every time. Here, here. There we go. That felt really good. 
All right, so we got 185 pounds on here. It's not a lot of weight, but again, I kind of stink at rows, so I'm gonna do the best I can here. Get on that, going with that underhand grip. I can really see how this would positively impact your deadlift because as I'm going through the set, it's a little bit harder to keep body position and I tend to like want to round over more and more. And when you're doing a deadlift, interestingly enough, bench press and squat and the deadlift, you want to try to pull the shoulder blades down and back. And you want to keep the arms close to the body. When we do a squat, shoulder blades down and back have the shoulder blades up and like this now we're going to squat like this i know many of you are watching that have been fans you're like that's how you always squat thanks appreciate it you want things to be tight you want to try to bend the bar over your back over your body flexing the lats just like you're trying to when you do like a chin up and you're a kid and you're trying to see the other side of it that's a little bit what we're trying to do Trying to bring everything down and keep the neck nice and long, chin nice and tall, good strong body posture, get the stomach tight, and then we're ready for the movement. As it pertains to the deadlift, here we go. Kind of watch what happens here as the lats start to get away from the body a little bit. Hopefully, we don't get too much butt crack. These pants are falling down. But as we start to get too far from the body, look, how am I going to pick up a weight from out here? if my arms are far away from my body, right? I don't want them out here like this. I don't want to try to, I don't want to try to lift this up this way. I mean, it's light, right? So I can do it, but it, it doesn't feel good. That's more like a Romanian deadlift or a stiff leg deadlift, right? I want to really take the arms and I want to go like this with them. And I want to be locked in here like this. So everything's compact. Let me show you. So a lot of times we'll deadlift like this, weights are out here like this, and then we go to pull and our hips, our hips will shoot up first, hips, whoop, and then we're here. And then it's like, oh my God, how do I, lock, how am I gonna, how am I gonna get my hips through on this? I'm rounded over so much. And look at all the space between where my arms are and where my actual body, body is, right? So if we come from up here, and now I know we can't have a, a straight bar end up being a deadlift, uh, a trap bar deadlift, but that's what we're trying to turn the lift into. So if my hands are this way and I'm gonna deadlift and the lats, you can see the lats right here, the lats are now locked in. Shoulders are, shoulders are, are low away from the ear and I'm locked in, got the lats turned on. Now if I go to deadlift, look at how much closer it stays to my body the whole time and much easier pathway to keep the legs involved the entire time. And a much easier pathway to stay safe. A much easier pathway to keep your glutes involved too. Once we get out here, and once we decided to go like this at the start of the lift, we can't even fire our, we can't even flex our glutes. And your glutes are gonna help protect your back. I've been saying this for a long ass time, so do the best you can with that. Really try to lock those arms in. And when you're doing your, when you're doing your rows, you can even do some rows with some dumbbells to help teach you that. And you can really pull them, keep them uh, close to your body and pull them kind of down and in more. Almost like you're trying to um, like bend, a, bend the bar around your body. What we're trying to do. So we just did 185 pounds. Now we're gonna throw another quarter on each side and, and go for that one. That should be the big, the big mama set. That should be it. 235 235 pounds I'm gonna throw on a belt for this one just to give me a little bit more more support in the back just to get a little extra support here this is kind of a bodybuilding belt and some of the advantage of a bodybuilding belt you see it squishing out on some of my chub here look at this making me look fat um, the advantage of bodybuilding belt is it's it's uh, skinnier in the front 
And uh, so it's not going to be in my way as much for the front part of it, but it's still going to help me protect my back. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Hopefully, the butt crack doesn't come flying out. No one will know. They'll, they'll mix it all in the same thing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice and dry now. That magnesium carbonate is something else, isn't it? All right. This is what I'm going to turn into, by the way. In about a year or two. I'm like 100 years old, right? I'm just going to turn into chalk dust. That's the goal, anyway. So here we go. Underhand grip. This is actually going to get quite challenging for me, even though it shouldn't be. I'm just, again, I'm not super strong on rows. And this is uh, more than what I weigh. Here we go. I don't know. That was a doozy. So what I'm gonna do, I felt good, but you know, the form had to get off a little bit and I would like to kind of keep it locked in the lats a little bit more. So, you know, sometimes you gotta think about like, in this case, Dorian Yates, he was able to lift a tremendous amount of weight. That wasn't that much weight. So I'm gonna do another set, a drop set. And I'll probably finish with the plate. Basically what I'm saying is I need to account for the amount of volume a stronger person would get on this. I need to figure out a way to make it up and a lot of you need to do the same thing. If you lift with someone who benches 500 pounds, they'll always get in 500 pounds worth of volume and then some because it's to get stronger. And if you currently only bench 405 or 315, you're only getting that amount of volume in. So you have to do extra, you gotta find out a way, figure out a way. And the answer isn't, isn't to do more weight. The answer is more reps, more sets, or more frequently. That's it. That's the Dorian Yates. Blood and guts, bent over row. Really try to squeeze it, really try to contract. Pull those elbows back behind your body. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch you all later.